The team travels 1,225 miles to Volo, Illinois, home to an antique mall known for its one-of-a-kind items, as well as its reported unexplained paranormal activity. Built in 1862 as a dairy farm, Volo Antique Mall was purchased in 1960 by the Graham family, who established their business and then moved into the house next door. The mall is now home to countless antiques, artifacts, and family heirlooms. These objects, once cherished, are now relics of forgotten times, forgotten memories, forgotten lives. The current manager of the Antique Mall is a woman named Lisa, and she's apparently had a lot of experiences here. So we want to start out by talking to her and getting some details about what's going on. I saw these cranberry beads, and when I came in the next day to turn on the lights, the beads were in a circle on the floor, just wow. perf perfectly placed into a circle. And um, rows of books were just on the floor, like purposely lined like up. Like a domino type? Mm-hmm. And I heard multiple feet running around up there, like in a circle above me. It was above, above the first floor, okay. yeah. Interestingly, in the Graham family home next door, there are also some unusual reports, which raise the question as to whether there's some connection between the two locations. We used to have a bedroom upstairs, and a couple of times I would wake up from a sleep and I would look up into the ceiling and I would see a black form over the top of the bed. My husband saw it once. One night I noticed what looked to be a kind of a darkish black sh shadow. My mind kicked in and realized there's somebody in my room. I grabbed my nunchucks and I chased this thing out the door. Didn't see anybody, flipped the lights on in the kitchen, in the hallway, absolutely nobody. Paranormal experts use their arsenal of technology to investigate the supernatural. The new series Ghost Lab, Tuesdays at 10 after Dirty Jobs. It's all new on Discovery.